Hey folks, Neil Parker from steamdeckrepairs.com, Steam Deck Repairs by the Spark Angels. That is us, this is what we do. And if you need our help, then check us out, get in touch via our website. Also check out our Facebook, social media, Instagram, Spark Angels, the Spark Angels in fact. So today we'll continue on our Steam Deck videos. And this time we are going to be doing a super quick transplant of a, uh, it's not that, it's a, a 512 SSD into this Steam Deck, which is a 64 gig we've just purchased. However, the interesting thing here is I'll be able to go through a little bit of an additional part of the video, is the fact that this is a Gen 2, Series 2, whatever you want to call Steam Deck. Uh, and this is, so this is brand new, just purchased, and this has quite a lot of new internals. So as a second part of the video, we'll go through the differences. Oh, here's a, here's a Steam Deck board with a, uh, it's got a dock connector that's been torn off. Um, we'll be able to compare, I'll be able to show you a few of the differences, but mainly you'll see them anyway. We'll do another deeper dive one day, uh, one more, you know, another in another video, but this is, uh, yeah, like I said, it's an SSD change, which is mega quick. So if you want a video showing you how to do that, that's no problem. If you want help doing that or even parts, or even, you know, want us to do it for you, steamdeckrepairs.com. But if not, then hopefully this guide will be useful. So we know that this, well, I've already uh, sort of logged into my Steam on this one. I'm going to make sure. So it's it's kind of showing me the games I've got, but because this is a 64 gig and it's not got my game data on, there you go, let's turn it off. Um, I want my game data on it. So let's, a nice shiny screen. Let's give it a little bit of protection. Put some, put some tissue down uh, as we flip it over. Now these are quite, uh, again, as I put my, all my videos, Valve have done a fantastic, a beautiful job of, uh, of making these open. I'm going to use my iFixit Crosshead Tool uh, Phillips to get in here. Now, the difficult thing is uh, is getting the right size because these screws round off really easily. Um, we've had many a Steam Deck in with people that have had a go, which is fantastic. It's designed to so that you can. Um, that They've rounded off and we've had to sort of dremel them out and, and make good. So there's four long screws that go in the four corners. So let's take this one out. So here's the four of four for four long screws out, and then the, the four shallower screws across here. Like I said, need any help? If you want any questions answered, check us out steamdeckrepairs.com. We are getting busier and busier, especially as they're coming out of warranty, which is which is good. You need someone to help. Um, we aren't Valve affiliated, They're, we use genuine brand new parts from devices because Valve at the moment won't supply us with parts. We would love to be affiliated, I know what I fix it obviously supply the parts, but we would love to be affiliated or supplied with them or be a supplier of theirs. So if you're from Valve then please drop us a line because we want nothing more than to be involved in your illustrious uh, sort of devices repair. So there we go, so we've got the eight screws removed and the, the shell is normally super easy to part company. We'll start at the bottom. First thing you need to do, always remember, is to pop out the SD card if it's got one in, because if not, it uh, it stops it from being open. You can end up snapping or, or doing damage to the board. It's basically going, if you've got nails, it's going in somewhere on the bottom and just popping it open. I love how easy it is. Just with your nails, or you can use a non, non kind of, a non-damaging pry tool, something like something plastic, and you get in there, you just part the company, a couple of, they've got clips all the way along the bottom, you just pop the clip, pop the clip, pop the clip. By the time you've done about three clips, the whole shell comes off. And there we go, you immediately can tell the, the huge difference we have. Um, in fact, yeah, it'd be interesting to do the deeper dive on that. But the obvious differences are the cooling aspects. Now, they this heat shield, has changed enormously. In fact, what it probably has is channeled air, if I would be, uh, if I'd be guessing. So you've got a way of channeling air over the board. And this fan is completely different as well. It looks a bit like a Mac board fan. We're Apple specialists at Spark Angels, um, or have been for many years. So check us out, sparkangels.co.uk. Um, yeah, so the, the cooling fan is a lot different. It's got a bigger intake here. The other one had just slots, a bigger intake. Um, now the, the sort of the exhaust seems the same, but like I said, this is very different and there's a lot of different, it's a lot more different underneath there. 
So let's dive in. So the, the SSD is under here, so we're gonna take this out anyway. Um, so there's two screws at the bottom of the fan. Remember, those two screws were on the shell. Uh, so let's remove it. We'll keep those separate as well. This is the first time I've actually done the, the Gen 2 one. So pop those two screws out. Now, they are the same size by the look of it, which is good. I think a lot of the screws are internally are, which helps us, well, all of us out a lot. And then there's two screws either side um, that we'll take out as well. Again, that's pretty standard from the first one. Same length screw there, which is nice. And hopefully this is the same length as well. There we go. So what happens here? The shell, there we go, lifts off. Fantastic. So there's a few different pads. It's quite a big difference to this board. Um, so right now, I'm going to go through a few bits of the details. So you can skip ahead if you just literally want to know how to take this off um, the, the SSD and swap it out. Um, in fact, we'll do that now. So the SSD, no, we'll come back to it. So the board itself has quite a few differences. Well, it's not as obvious. There's lots of different chipsets and everything. Um, these cables that run here, you've got the, uh, the, the I think that's the speaker the audio that comes out for the two speakers that's moved over uh, to right quite near there and these two connect these uh, these two cables they're like antenna cables that run for the antennas down here they live under this board under this this kind of sticker now if you look at that underneath the SSD you've got this communications chip and you've got these two coax circular connections these actually go into here so it's like they, they have completely moved this comms chip away from the SSD instead of being underneath it. That's probably got a lot to do with heat dissipation from the comms chip, because that's gonna get really hot. It does on iPhones and iPads when they're talking Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, and that being underneath the SSD is probably not ideal. So they've moved that around. And then that's probably part of the channeling here is so that the air, when the fan is kind of, uh, I imagine the fan is, how's that gonna work? The fan, in fact, no, the fan, all the fan's doing is calling this copper this piece of copper here, it's it's the veins underneath it, uh, uh, cooling it by putting air through it. So the air is, is not circulated across the board at all. But that said, with the whole shield covering it, potentially the airflow is a lot better to be able to get heat here and then out. So you never, you never know. Um, same material, just fully kind of, is that a sticker or is that like cathodic painted black? Again, to dissipate heat. Um, so they've moved the comms chip out of the way and um, the LCD connectors in the same place. Lots of chip differences, but this is a huge difference. Normally uh, on this one, the screw holes, you can see there, there and there for the heatsink would be there, there and there. The heatsink screw bolt uh, spigots in different place and one here. And this is a lot bigger and beefier uh, for the, this, it's kind of the GPU processor. Um, is a, is a lot beefier, probably holds a bit more pressure onto it and, and displays heat over. So, and also one thing, big missing uh, is alongside here. So you've got the daughter cable, the daughter board cable that links this board and that board to the main board that runs all the way under and over. That's still the same, but you also had an audio connection, um, a big bronze colored L shape that went from the audio board just here. And it, 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 it clicked into there and it came down and along and it tucked under there as well. I can't remember where it went to now. Um, but instead, they've got the audio board cable. I don't know where it runs. It must run under there. Is a is an FBC connector just under there. It goes straight into the board. So instead of running all the way down there, they've refined that. Nice little design change. Um, fan connector moves slightly. But some big old changes, um, revisions. So it's nice. I like it. So we we're all going to get back to um, the SSD change. So the, the large screw at the bottom of the SSD, we're going to unscrew that. And it automatically pops up to about 30 degree angle. We'll put the big screw out of the way. It just lifts out. There we go. So nice, nice quite a bit of space under there. Um, if you're doing an SSD change, which I am, I would always, uh, normally when you get an SSD, they don't have these shields on. They, they, they come to you like that. Okay, so you would get the one that you're replacing it with, and if it hasn't got it, you will always, always replace it with. So this is my 512, and 
I'm just going to slide that back over. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep it uh, with this revision. This looks pretty similar, slightly different material. Feels more plasticky than it does kind of aluminium tape. If I can slide it on. Now we do we do all manner of uh, of SSD transplants for our customers, all the way up to two terabytes right now. Oh, there's that little chip that's just getting in the way. I need to get something slightly underneath that just to lift it over. Um, yeah, so as I said, if you need help, steamdeckrepairs.com, we can drop you a quote. We do spare parts, we do the repairs. We're UK based, but we do ship worldwide um, and take in repairs from worldwide as well. You may have checked out some of our other videos that are in the process, if not, not been uploaded yet, uh, of, of complete shell replacements. Um, I was skeptical about disturbing the nice black shell, but the, the ones, some of the ones we've done, like clear purple, metallic purples, and different colors and reds, they look stunning. So once you've got that in place, we're gonna slide that in at the same sort of angle. You don't wanna go in flat, you don't wanna go in too much, like a 30 degree, slot it in, find its way home, and you just pop it down, you get that, that large headed um, screw again, drops in, should drop in there nicely. Holds it in place, and we just put it back together as it was. We've not disturbed anything else, so that's pretty cool. This heat shield drops over. We're gonna pop, again, these, these screws are all the same size, and we'll pop these back in. So a screw there, and a screw in this top corner. Just nip them up, they don't need to be very tight, just a, a light nip. And then that one is, that's, that's part of the screw, that actually the heat shield underneath that goes into there. So you don't need to take that off. Um, yeah, you don't actually need to take that off. That's part of the heat shield. In fact, I don't even know why I took the bottom fans out because we're not taking the fan out. Rookie error. I say rookie, I've done loads of these. I was getting carried away. Normally do a full disassembly video. Um, yeah, foolishly, it was literally just those two screws that needed to come out and that whole shield would have come off. Could have left those two in. Um, the next stage to a strip down or whatever you're doing would be taking those off, taking the heat sink and that whole uh, heat sink comes off the processor. So that's it, it really is that simple. Um, next thing we can do is put the shell back on and that's, it just clips into place. It uh, is nicely designed, I'm really, really quite, I really like how they've done it. place all the way around if you have to force it then there's probably something amiss and then the four small smaller screws go in the center again no need to over tighten just nipping up gently no doubt this will be a part many a times for many videos And then the large ones go in the, the outer. And that is it. So we've got all those screws in place. I'm not entirely sure now it's got a different SSD what it's going to do. So why did that go through the motions? Again, if you need us, steamdeckrepairs.com. Hit us up if you've got any questions, need any help, need any parts, we'd be more than happy to help. If you've got any Apple or any other mobile phone, tablets, computers, then check us out at sparkangels.co.uk. Um, like I said, we repair for the public, businesses and education, nationally and internationally. Okay, there we go. So internal drive is 335 gig free of 465, which is obviously what's left over from the 512. So that's now accepted the 512 um, that I've installed. I'm Neil at steamdeckrepairs.com. We are the Spark Angels. So UK based company that repair all of your Apple techs, iPhones, iPad, MacBooks, PCs, computers, laptops, and now Steam Decks. Thank you very much for watching.